What's going on YouTube? Subhome Saint bringing you a review of the Sigeli 150 temperature control. So, without further ado, let's dive down, unpack this thing, and show you guys what all you get with it, and break down all the specs for you. All right, guys, here we are. Get you guys a good look at the box here. Pretty good packaging. Got all the specs on here. I will list those in the description. That way all of you guys can take a look at what all comes with it and what all it's capable of. And let me pull this little tab here, yep, right here. You see this little tab? Pull. I uh, thought you was going to see something, didn't you? Nah, I'm just kidding. Here you go. You get a 90 day warranty card. A Segeli 150 temperature uh, control user manual. Where it will walk you through how to use the temp control and walk you through the menu screen. Without further ado, here is the Segeli. You do get a nice little silicone sleeve here, which is good. Nice little battery venting down here. Oh, spring load at 510. Move this out of the way here. Let me slide this off. Sorry guys, it's pretty snug. <laughs> That's what she said. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, here you go. I've seen a lot of people's opinion. They don't really like the looks of it. I, I kind of like it, you know. It kind of breaks them away from the traditional box look and gives them a little something else different. And I, I kind of like it because, I mean, it actually keeps a it keeps a little cooler with this lip. I don't know if I don't know if this lip has anything to do with it, but I have not had any problems with this device getting hot on me. It does have some little grooves here, little designs. Flip it over here. Got the grooves over here again, but you got a little thumb here, a little, little, little grippy thing. Grab onto that, plop off your battery cover just like that. Get you a nice little ribbon here for your batteries. Positive, negative mark, held on by two magnets. That door is held on by two magnets. These are spring loaded. Not 100% if they're copper or not. They look copper, but I'm not going to confirm that because I do not know. Now, here's your fire button. Up, down button. Screen. It's a little Segeli branding here. This little thing says Segeli 150 watt temperature control. Not too shabby, not too shabby. So, let me pop some batteries in this and walk you guys through the menu screen. Alright, got a pair of 18650 batteries in here. Now, it's five clicks to turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. You got your wattage marked up top, your battery meter, your battery percentage, your voltage, and your ohms. Now in order to get to the menu system, you push this five times, one, two, three, four, five. System on, walk you through, there's mode, power mode, or jewel mode. You go into jewel mode, you can choose between Fahrenheit or Celsius. Move, change your temperature like this. And when you're done, just click exit. Real simple menu screen. I mean, whenever you're ready to turn it off, just bam. So, now that I've walked you guys through the menu, giving you an up close look at the Segeli 150 temperature control mod feel perfectly comfortable with backing out, vaping on this thing, telling you guys a little bit more about it. All 
All right, guys. That was my up close. I hope my walkthrough on the menu screen helped out anybody that was having problems. It's a relatively simple menu screen, so I mean, I hope you guys can. If you have any problems whatsoever, feel free to leave me a comment or email me or anything. I'll, I'll be more than glad to help you guys with anything that you need help with. Let me do my pros and my cons on this device here. Now, my pros on this device is I like it. I like the way it fits in your hand. It's got that nice curvy feel. And I, I got little hands, people. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm like five foot seven, and I got itty bitty little, yeah. I mean, I mean, they look a little bigger on camera, but rest assured, they're small. So, I mean, it fits nice in the hand. I, I have no complaints whatsoever. I mean, I actually feel like these little things right here, the little design they got, is like a little groove, a little, little, little rest for my hand. So, hey, I, I, I like the device. I mean, it's performed well for me. I haven't had no problems out of it whatsoever. I only have one con for this device one measly con and this this con is subjective I mean it might not affect you guys my con on this is the buttons these buttons feel plasticky feel cheap really cheap so not 100% on what they are I don't know, they could be metal I, I, I don't know but they do feel plasticky to me that is pretty much my only con I really don't have all that many cons on this device I mean been vaping on it for quite some time and I haven't had no issues with it so I mean if you're in the market for a temperature control device and a hundred dollars is around your vape budget then I would definitely say get this device I mean it goes up to a hundred joules I can't really complain about that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you need any help whatsoever with this device feel free to leave me a comment or email me or Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want to do, and just let me know what I can help you with. I'll be more than glad to give you guys all the opinions or anything that will help you guys become better vapors and all that. Right now, I do have a 0.25 build on the Velocity Clone by Tobacco sitting on top of here and vaping at 75 watts. Got a little bit of a dry head on that back end there. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all keep vaping out there and y'all come back now, you hear?